in believe or if you just been chosen somebody say chosen uh, many are called but few are chosen uh, then you'll have a a element or a confrontation with fear um, but fear is a uh, can be a good thing uh, how many know that the Bible says that all things work together for the good for them to love the Lord for them that are called according to his purpose now fear can be a good thing because fear can move you to God. Help me, Holy Ghost. When you're afraid of what may happen uh, if you don't have God, if he's not on your side. Uh, now I've learned that the fear of the Lord is a great thing. It's one of the uh, spirits of God. You find that in the 11th chapter uh, of Isaiah. It talks about the fear of the Lord. We ought to respect God. We ought to fear God. We preached that last week. Fear God and not man. Help me hold the ghost. So now even in today we're, we're seeing more fear uh, everywhere we go. Uh, Satan and his uh, emissaries, uh, uh, those uh, that are with him, uh, try to, uh, uh, to to promote fear. But God told us he, he hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Uh, uh, fear can be uh, manifested in many different ways. Uh, when we uh, look at it, uh, you can have a fear of darkness. Um, there are people have fear of men. They have fear of spiders. Um, I was talking to one of my grandchildren and I asked him, I said, what was the message on? And the grandchild said that it was on fear. And, and I asked him, I said, well, what, what kind of fear do you have? Uh, and he began to talk about his different fears. He showed me uh, that he was listening to the word. All of us have some kind of fear. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Amen. Uh, you're not human and you're not a real person if you don't have some type of fear. Uh, 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 but fear does not need to dominate your life. It doesn't need to control you. Doesn't need to hinder you. Doesn't need to paralyze you. Hallelujah. There are people that have fear of bacteria. Uh, even before the coronavirus, uh, uh, they wear gloves all the time. Uh, they wear masks before the coronavirus. Uh, um, but you can't allow fear uh, to control you. Uh, that doesn't mean that you don't respect uh, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, you should respect it. Uh, you should respect those uh, and that are doctors and health professionals and, and the protocols that they said. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost, uh, because it will keep you safe. Uh, it'll keep you well. Uh, it'll keep you encouraged. Uh, but you don't need to fear these things. Uh, you don't need to fear uh, the snow. Uh, I know uh, uh, when the snow comes, some people said, I'm not leaving the house. Uh, Oh, hallelujah. But you don't need to fear. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. you can respect it without fearing it. Don't allow it to control you. Don't allow it to paralyze you. Don't allow it to keep you from your success moment. Help me, Holy Ghost. Fear is real. But we've been talking to you about fearing God. Somebody said, I fear God. Uh, don't fear man. God's got a plan for all of us. Uh, but we can't uh, fulfill that plan if we're fearful. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we can't fulfill God's wishes for us. Uh, no matter what he says, if we're fearful. Hallelujah. 
I want you uh, to wrestle with fear. Now, as Jacob wrestled, uh, Jacob, uh, uh, he was wary. Uh, he had spent 20 years with Laban. Now, uh, uh, you get a chance to read that story. Now, because right now you're wrestling with something. Now, uh, uh, and it looks like uh, what you're wrestling with uh, as Elder Blackwell said, uh, it's a spiritual battle. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah, spiritual yeah, war. Yeah. Uh, you're wrestling with something. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and uh, uh, right now, uh, who you're wrestling with uh, is taking, uh, is getting more of the advantage uh, than you want. And God wants you to understand uh, that you have power uh, with God. Yeah. Somebody say, I got power. Uh, look to your neighbor and say, you got power. Uh, look around and say, we got power. Uh, what two or three are touching and agreeing. Uh, he said, every word shall be established. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, here, uh, Jacob uh, uh, was concerned. Uh, you know, he had messed up. Uh, anybody got a witness here? Uh, have you ever messed up? Uh, uh, and you can't get it right. Uh, I, I messed up. Uh, I'm the chief uh, of those that are messed up. Uh, somebody say, hey, uh, hallelujah. Uh, yes, Jabez. I messed up uh, many times. Uh, I am the chief of those uh, that have made mistakes, uh, mishaps, uh, errors, uh, sin, uh, transgression. Uh, yes, your grandfather. Uh, yes, the apostle. Uh, I messed up. Uh, help me hold it close. Uh, anybody here uh, ever messed up? Yeah. Yes. 
brother was angry. His brother was mad and I wanted to kill him. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. You ever been mad enough to hurt somebody? You can be truthful. At one time or another, all of us been mad enough to hurt somebody. That's how bad that Jacob messed up. Esau wanted to hurt him. Wanted to end him. So he had to leave. He left. He was gone 20 years. Now he got to go back home. And he got to go through his brother. So he takes his wives. Yeah, he had two. He takes his children. And he's going back to the land of Canaan. And uh, because God spoke to him. You got to do what God tells you to do. God spoke to him and, and then so he's leaving and going back and, and then he gets word that your brother Esau has an